Few objects in history so seamlessly blend artistry, physics, and utility as the bullwhip. At first glance, it appears simple, just a length of braided leather or synthetic material narrowing to a fine tip. But in reality, it is an intricately crafted instrument, honed over centuries, designed to channel energy with incredible precision. More than just a tool, the bullwhip is a masterpiece of both human craftsmanship and natural laws. Its origins trace back thousands of years, appearing in multiple cultures across the globe. Ancient Egyptians depicted whip-wielding figures in their hieroglyphs, and Roman centurions carried whips as symbols of authority. But it was on the open plains of Australia and the American West that the bullwhip evolved into the highly refined tool we recognize today. Designed for livestock handling, the whip was a way for cowboys and stockmen to command their herds without physical contact, using sound as a means of control. Over time, the bullwhip's use expanded beyond its practical roots. Martial artists adopted it as a training weapon, its speed and precision making it an ideal tool for developing reflexes and control. Performers took it to the stage, transforming raw skill into mesmerizing trick-whipping displays. And in modern popular culture, legendary figures like Indiana Jones and Zorro immortalized the bullwhip, cementing its place in the world's imagination. But beyond the whip's cultural significance lies something even more fascinating, the science behind how it works. Unlike most tools, which rely on steady mechanical force, the bullwhip operates on the principles of wave motion, exponential acceleration, and supersonic speed. A simple flick of the wrist can generate a chain reaction of energy, culminating in a sonic boom at the tip, a force so powerful that it breaks the sound barrier, a feat usually reserved for jet fighters. In this exploration, we will break down the bullwhip's brilliance piece by piece. We will uncover its anatomy, its reinforcement, and the physics that make it crack. We will examine how different disciplines, from livestock handling to martial arts, are interconnected through the same fundamental principles. And most importantly, we will reveal how mastering the whip requires a deep understanding of training, precision, and control. Whether you are a whip enthusiast, a physics lover, or simply curious about this extraordinary tool, join us as we unravel the secrets of the bullwhip, one crack at a time. When you first hold a bullwhip, you immediately notice its three interconnected parts, the handle, the thong, and the fall and cracker. They aren't just individual components. They form an inseparable whole, each part dependent upon the others. This balanced coexistence is what makes the whip effective and uniquely functional. Consider first the handle, a firm and rigid grip crafted for precise control. Without it, you'd lack the leverage needed to direct the whip accurately. Imagine swinging a rope without a handle. There'd be no real precision or control. Now follow the handle into the whip's body, the thong. This braided, flexible structure acts like a highway for energy, smoothly guiding your motion from hand to tip. Picture the thong as a wave moving along a rope. Without its finely tapered structure, energy dissipates rather than intensifies. The thong ensures your wrist flick is efficiently transmitted down the whip's length. Finally, energy meets the fall and cracker the whip's small, replaceable tip. The cracker is precisely where energy, carefully transmitted from handle to thong, culminates dramatically in a sonic boom. Imagine snapping a wet towel. The tip moves fastest because it has the least mass. Without the cracker, the whip can't create its characteristic sound. If you remove any single part, handle, thong, or cracker, the entire whip ceases to function effectively. They coexist in essential harmony, each relying completely upon the other to achieve the final result, the sharp, iconic crack. Now let's dive deeper, exploring how this intricate structure is reinforced internally. A bullwhip isn't just a simple rope. It's a carefully designed instrument, reinforced from the inside out to handle incredible stresses without losing strength or flexibility. This reinforcement starts at the whip's hidden heart, the core and layers. At the whip's center lies the core and layers, braided tightly from materials such as leather or nylon. Imagine these layers like steel reinforcement bars in concrete. They strengthen the entire structure. Without them, the whip would quickly fray and weaken under the repeated stress of cracking. 
This reinforced core directly supports the whip's thong, its long, tapering body. As the thong narrows, it transforms the initial input motion into a powerful wave traveling towards the tip. Visualize cracking a whip hundreds of times. Each motion exerts considerable force. Because the thong is internally reinforced, it remains supple yet robust, capable of focusing intense kinetic energy without damage. At the end is the tiny cracker, the part that moves faster than sound itself. The cracker is delicate compared to the thong, but its strength and effectiveness depend directly on how energy was transmitted through the thong. The cracker doesn't just amplify speed, it confirms the structural integrity of the whip. Every successful snap you hear proves the core and layers did their job correctly. Thus, reinforcement is cyclical. The core strengthens the thong, the thong efficiently transmits energy to the cracker, and each crack tests and ultimately confirms the whip's internal strength and durability. Let's now turn our attention to the science behind the whip's legendary crack. The bullwhip's most intriguing characteristic is its incredible speed, so fast it breaks the sound barrier. But how does this happen? It all unfolds through a clear causal chain of physics energy transfer, exponential acceleration, and ultimately supersonic speed. First, consider energy transfer. When you swing a whip, your hand imparts energy into the handle. Picture this energy as a small wave or ripple traveling down the whip. Initially slow moving, the wave picks up speed as it moves from the thick end of the handle down the gradually tapering thong. As this wave travels along the tapering whip, something remarkable happens, exponential acceleration. Like an ice skater spinning faster when pulling in their arms, the whip's decreasing mass and diameter force the energy to speed up dramatically as it approaches the tip. Each smaller segment of the whip pulls and accelerates the next, multiplying speed far beyond the initial wrist motion. Finally, at the whip's tip, the cracker, speed peaks into a supersonic speed, exceeding approximately 343 meters per second, the speed of sound. The result is the whip's signature crack, a miniature sonic boom akin to a jet fighter breaking the sound barrier high overhead. Without the initial energy from your arm or the whip's finely tapered shape, the cracker would never reach supersonic speed. This causal chain makes every crack possible and unforgettable. Next, let's examine how your movements trigger and amplify this remarkable physical phenomenon. To properly crack a whip, you don't use brute force. Instead, you use precise technique, where subtle wrist and arm motions produce astonishing results. This nonlinear relationship between your movements and the whip's spectacular sound can be broken down clearly into three steps, technique, wave propagation, and sonic boom. Your technique is the starting point, a gentle but precise wrist or arm flick. You don't need enormous strength, just the right movement like striking a piano key instead of hammering it. From this subtle motion emerges a traveling wave, a process called wave propagation. Imagine flicking one end of a rope. The loop created travels along its length. However, unlike a simple rope, the bullwhip's tapered structure continually accelerates this wave, magnifying energy as it travels outward. Finally, this increasing energy peaks in a sharp, audible sonic boom, the tip surpasses the speed of sound, creating the whip's trademark crack. Crucially, the sonic boom results not from raw power, but from refined technique and carefully engineered wave propagation. Master whip users consistently show how small movements produce outsized effects, making every crack an act of precision rather than brute force. Throughout history, bull whips have been tools of surprising versatility. A single whip can shift effortlessly between livestock handling, trick whipping, and even weaponry. Understanding one form inherently connects you to the others. These uses form an inclusive relationship. Initially, bull whips were practical tools for livestock handling. Cowboys or herders used the whip's crack to guide cattle, sheep, or horses without direct contact. Think of the whip's crack as a loud directional signal safely steering livestock. This practical skill evolved into trick whipping, where performers elevate whip use into a showy, visually stunning art form. The
The same basic techniques from livestock handling, timing, accuracy, and distance management are combined into captivating routines. Picture a circus performer rhythmically cracking two whips simultaneously, each movement precise and controlled. Historically, whips also served as weaponry, employed either directly or as deterrents. A whip's loud, intimidating crack can deter aggressors or animals, a principle familiar to anyone who has seen it demonstrated dramatically in film or martial arts contexts. Interestingly, mastering one of these applications often naturally translates into competence in the others. Whip cracking for livestock handling reinforces the skills used in performance art, which also reinforces the whip's use as a weapon. They are inclusive skills. One domain invites competence in the others. Learning the bullwhip demands a balanced blend of training, precision, and safety. These elements form a conjoined triad mastery of each directly supports and enables the others. It begins with training, the disciplined practice of correct movements, timing, and control. Without proper training, the whip is erratic and ineffective. Visualize a beginner struggling to produce a clean crack compared to an expert smoothly snapping multiple cracks in succession. From this structured training emerges precision, the skillful control needed to guide the whip accurately. A precise whip artist can strike tiny targets, creating clear, consistent cracks every time. Precision relies entirely on regular, disciplined training. But why is precision critical? Because precision is the foundation of safety. A precise whip strike avoids unintended targets, like yourself or nearby observers. Just as an archer carefully aims each arrow, whip users must control their movements precisely to remain safe. This relationship goes both ways. The need for safety motivates further disciplined training, enhancing precision, creating a balanced system that ensures controlled, skillful whip use. The bullwhip has endured for centuries, not as a relic of the past, but as a tool of precision, power, and performance. It is an instrument that transcends time, evolving to suit the needs of those who wield it. What makes the bullwhip truly persistent is the way it moves fluidly between three worlds, its cultural legacy, its artistic application, and its martial interest. Each of these realms sustains the others, ensuring that the bullwhip remains as relevant today as it was in the hands of the first whip masters. We begin with the cultural legacy of the whip. More than just a tool, it has become a symbol embedded in folklore, history, and popular media. From ancient civilizations that used whips for herding and authority, to the wide open ranges where cowboys mastered the craft, the whip has always been tied to a sense of control, discipline, and mastery. But its cultural image isn't just historical, it is larger than life. Indiana Jones, Zorro, and even the grand spectacles of the circus have made the whip something more, a mark of daring, precision, and adventure. These cultural portrayals keep the bullwhip in the public eye, inspiring new generations to explore its potential. This inspiration often leads to artistic application, where the whip moves from practical tool to performance instrument. Trick whipping, staged combat, and choreographed routines elevate the whip into an art form, whether snapping a cigarette from a partner's lips, cracking out rhythms in perfect timing, or weaving it into elaborate stunt sequences. The whip in the hands of an artist is a thing of grace and spectacle. This is where its full beauty is revealed, not just in the loud, sharp crack, but in the rhythm, flow, and control of the wielder. But the whip is not just for show. There has always been a strong martial interest in its use. Historically, whips have served as deterrents and weapons, and in some combat traditions, they remain tools for developing reflexes, coordination, and precise striking ability. Martial artists recognize that the bullwhip isn't about brute force, it's about timing, technique, and spatial awareness. The same principles that allow a whip to snap a target with pinpoint accuracy also translate to disciplines of armed and unarmed combat. And as martial artists explore the whip's capabilities, they often uncover new applications, breathing fresh life into an ancient tool. What makes the bullwhip truly persistent is the way these three aspects, cultural legacy, 
artistic application, and martial interest, work together in harmony. When a whip cracks in a film, it inspires someone to learn the art. When a performer masters the whip, it captivates audiences, drawing more people into its mystique. When a martial artist studies the whip, they refine its techniques, reinforcing both its artistic and practical value. Each element fuels the others, ensuring that the whip is never forgotten, but rather continually reinterpreted, reinvented, and reimagined. Through this self-sustaining cycle, the bullwhip remains one of the most fascinating tools ever created, an elegant balance of science, skill, and spectacle. Whether in the hands of a cowboy, a performer, or a martial artist, its crack echoes through history, reminding us that mastery of the whip is mastery of motion itself.